Hey everybody! So good to see you again today. Let's first talk about the obvious. My hair. <laughs> I got some hair extensions. They are the clip-in kind so I can take them in and out of my hair. Specifically the whole reason that I even bought hair extensions is because of my wedding. These are from Bellamy. Um, they are the Bambina 160 gram they are 20 inches long and this is this was on the more affordable side of the extensions that they had on their website um to be honest i'm really glad that i did not go with the longer ones there are 22 inches there are 24 inches i think there's even 26 and 30 inches long and these are already way past uh, my boobs you know like way down to my torso so um, I really love these I think they are awesome I think they're look, gonna look beautiful for my wedding day they are a great color match for me in terms of you know the the color of my blonde these these are in the shade dirty blonde and I feel like they're a little bit lighter than my roots are uh, luckily they blend pretty well with the ends of my hair the thing that I'm struggling with is learning how to clip them in so that they don't show through and my hair is pretty fine and I don't have that much hair so when I start clipping them in toward the top of my hair you can start to see the wefts a little bit so I just need to kind of play with them a little bit more and figure out exactly the correct placement but for the meantime I'm totally in love with them I feel like they look really natural I feel like they look great I I'm just so impressed with them so um, this is what they they look like when they come in the packaging they are real hair um, and because they are real hair you can do anything to them that you could do to your real natural hair so the clip um, is a nice you know tan color they are really sturdy and um, I found that the hair is really beautiful quality. It's they claim to be as thick at the bottom as they do at the top, and um, I don't know if that is a hundred percent true, but they are really thick when it comes to extensions. So I am really enjoying them. Money well spent. I'm very excited to kind of play with them a little bit more, maybe cut them a little bit. I just kind of layer them so that they look more natural with my my hair so yeah I really love them so on to the purpose of this video my birthday is this Wednesday and so I decided that I was gonna do a little bit of shopping and treat myself I already really treat myself quite often when it comes to buying makeup and kind of frivolous things um, it's just really what I love to spend my hard-earned money on you know I make sure that I'm putting away for my wedding I'm always looking for the next best thing when it comes to beautification so I purchased a couple little things over the last you know few weeks leading up to my birthday and I have a few more things coming in the mail but I thought that I would sit down and film this video today because I'm just so excited to show you the stuff that I got the first thing that we'll go over is Ulta because I just have a couple things from Ulta they were having their 21 days of beauty spree something this month where every single day they had a special deal on some sort of makeup or beauty product or skincare so one of the things that I saw that was on offer is this miracle mist um, hydrate and set so it's from the brand pure which is I think a mineral makeup line and I haven't even opened it up this is quite large uh, I think this was only $10 when I picked it up on Ulta's website, which is really awesome because I think this is probably normally $30 or so. So it just kind of looks like an amber golden color and it's quite large, eight fluent ounces for a setting spray. I think that's even, that's like double the size of the um, Urban Decay makeup setting spray. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm going to be using this at the end of my makeup routine today. So let's get started on the base. So another thing that I got from Ulta um, is a little sample. It came along with the Pure Miracle Mist. It was like a free gift when you bought that. This is the Pure Minerals Correcting Primer. It's Complexion 
perfecting neutral so I think that this might be a color correcting primer um, it looks like it has a little bit of a yellowy green undertone to it so I'm not going to use this today because I bought another primer that I'm really excited to try but it was really nice that it came with the free gift the primer that I'm really excited to try is from Mali now I've heard a lot of people say really good things about this primer and I actually owned this for a while, maybe like four years ago. Um, and at the time it was really before I had started getting into primers. I just didn't like the way that it felt on my skin at the time because I wasn't used to wearing primers. But now that I wear primer every day before I put my makeup on, I think that I'm gonna like it. I actually ended up giving it to my mom. So if I don't like it, I have my receipt. I can always return it, but I'm really excited. I've heard that it fills in your pores really incredibly. All right. Yeah, I mean, I seriously cannot get over this hair. It's like, it's so awesome. I'm still working on figuring out how to blend it really well with my natural, uh, with my natural hair, but, but so far I freaking love it. I think it looks awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to use what's in the cap here. This is the Mali Beauty Perfect Prep Poreless Primer. So I'm just going to use whatever's in here and just kind of tap it in my issue areas, you know, my nose. Um, this feels really nice and silky compared to some of the primers I have. I really love the Makeup Forever Primer. That one is one of my favorites. Um, the Smoothing Primer to help with my pores, but this one feels really good too. It feels really silky. I don't know, there's a slight smell to it, so if you're sensitive to smell, maybe go smell it before you buy it. I'm just putting some on my chin and around my nose, and maybe I'll just follow up with a little bit more in my T-zone area. It feels a little bit slippery on my skin still, but I'm going to give it a minute to set and see if it kind of um, soaks into my skin a little bit more. I want to take a closer look at my actual complexion after I put that on, and it looks pretty good. The true test is to see what it looks like after you put makeup on, like the foundation because the primer can really look great, but it could also kind of counteract with the actual foundation. Yeah, but it looks pretty good. The last thing that I picked up from Ulta that I, um, I'm gonna put on later is another one of my favorite mascaras. This was on the Beauty Buy for just $10, so um, it's a really awesome deal. This mascara is usually about $25. Um, it's just the one that I always use. It comes in the purple tube, like this. Um, but I've had this one for a long time. It's just like the mascara just keeps giving and giving and giving. And I've um, I've noticed that it's been drying out a little bit. So I was thinking about adding some sort of like Fix Plus or something to the inside of it to help loosen it up again. But then I saw that it was on sale for $10 and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. It's my favorite mascara. Um, so I'm going to save this until I'm really, really done with that one. So the next thing I have to show you is a new foundation. And it all started because I did an order, I placed an order from Sephora online, and I got this little tiny Bare Minerals trio, and it did come with like a whole uh, like pamphlet to let you know what it, it, what it was. And um, it's from Bare Minerals. It came with this adorable tiny little brush. Um, which I've been using with the Perfecting Veil, but it also came with the Bare Skin Foundation. I don't know, I've read a lot of mixed reviews on this. It, it wasn't one of the things I was really excited to try from my order, but I actually ended up trying it one morning, and um, you have to shake it up. Apparently there's no binding um, agents in this foundation, so it's extremely liquidy. Um, the color separates from the actual, I don't know, foundation in here so you have to shake it really really well um, I've been using this sample for about a week now and I really really like it um, so the color that came with my order is bare ivory it's the 
04 shade. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep using my sample. But because I liked it so much, I actually went and I bought the big version. I used to love Bare Minerals. I used to use their mineral powder, their mineral foundation. I used to use their mineral veil. I used to use like the whole set, the, the warmth and the blush and everything. Um, I don't know why I strayed away from that though. I had a friend like maybe five years ago tell me that my skin, like it didn't look like it was doing anything for my skin. Like I had been wearing it all the time and I had some breakouts going on and it just didn't cover the breakouts and she told me that it wasn't doing much for my skin. So I think it was at that point that I really didn't like continue using it. But anyway, it was really kind of cool to see that they had come out with a liquid foundation because it wasn't really ever something that I thought they were going to do because they were really set on their powder foundations but um, for right now I'm going to just keep using my sample because I think I have some left in here it's super super liquidy it's um I don't know if you can even really tell but it's really really pigmented and it's very yellow so it kind of counteracts my redness a little bit which I really really like so I usually do like two tiny little drops, like this is seriously two drops, it's a lot of coverage. I usually do two drops on um, one side and two drops on the other side. Just kind of patting it in. A lot of people have reviewed this foundation and said that they didn't like it. Um, I actually really love it though for really natural looking makeup. When you start buffing it out, it just brightens up your complexion. It just really makes me... It, it's a real natural looking makeup. So um, I don't really put any directly on my nose because I've found that if I put it directly on my nose it just doesn't look all that good. So I usually just work on buffing it. I buff it out with my buffing brush. Push it into the areas here where I put the primer. I don't know, it just feels so good. It's like super lightweight. I think it's like a serum. What do they call it? Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. So it's like, it's got some good skincare benefits to it too, which I really, really like. Um, my skin has been doing pretty good. I don't know if you can tell. I've got a couple issues. Oh, there's randomly a pimple right on my eyebrow. Um, that popped up the other day. But my neck is actually doing pretty good. And I don't know if it has anything to do with this foundation. Um, because I know that it has skincare benefits. So it's encouraging. I really, really like it. So this is the hottest time of year in San Francisco. It's really beautiful all year round to be honest. We get quite a bit of rain during the winter time, but specifically this time of year is when we get the hottest days. Yesterday it got into the upper 70s, which coming from Florida does not seem that hot at all. That's like one of their fall winter days. Um, but here because we don't have air conditioning, it can be a little bit warm, especially when we're sleeping at night. So my main goal with makeup these days is to just wear something really light that's going to look really natural, that's not going to, you know, sweat right off my skin. And the thing that I love about this Bare Minerals foundation is that it just feels so light. I feel just like I put on skincare and I feel like my skin looks really nice and bright and the redness has been corrected. I feel like it gives me pretty good coverage. I wanted to show you the temperature today though. Today is one of our kind of chillier days. Um, yesterday it got up to 79 it says, but today we are only at 59 degrees here right now. It says it's supposed to get up to about 63, but it's gorgeous. That's why I love living here. So I wanted to give you kind of an up close view of the foundation now that I have it buffed in. And you can really see the state of my skin is improving. And I've been using this little sample, this little baby one, 
for about a week now and I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it. I don't know. But I feel like this foundation looks really natural. It looks like skin. And there's a lot of foundations out there that say that they look like skin. The Ultra HD is beautiful. It's perfect for all sorts of skin types. You know, my my obsession. You guys know. Um, this is like my most favorite foundation, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. But it's, it feels heavier on my skin. Like this literally, literally feels like absolutely nothing. I think that's why I like it so much. Now that I have my foundation on, it feels awesome. So something else that I ended up buying was like a starter pack of the Bare Minerals products. Um, it comes, I bought it from QVC's website, so it's still on its way. I haven't received it yet. It comes with the full size of the Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. Ooh, just got sunny. Um, it comes with the Bare, Con the Bare Skin Concealer, and it comes with a brush. So I'm really excited to get that in the mail. I still don't have it, obviously, um, because if I did, I would show you right now. But so since I didn't, since I don't have an actual concealer to show you, I'm just going to use one that I've really enjoyed using, which is my Sephora Bright Future Gel Concealer. I'm just going to put a little bit of this under my eyes and down my nose. As you can tell, um, I actually really didn't put any foundation on my nose, and that's because my nose is one of my problem areas on my face. When I start to put a ton of products on my nose, you can really start to see my pores, and it looks really cakey and really gross, and then I end up usually wiping it off and then putting some sort of like mineral powder over it. I just try to avoid my nose until the very last area on my skin. Uh, so I'm gonna just put a little bit of this super brightening concealer under my eye. I've been using this for a few weeks now and I really, really like it. The Sephora brand products have really really surprised me. I recently bought one of their skincare, one of their masks. It's like this purifying mud mask. People have been comparing it to the Glam Glow masks, which I've showed you in my skincare routine, but they are so expensive. So I've been trying to figure out a cheaper alternative and I'm really excited to get that one in the mail. I haven't gotten it yet. So I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit of that down my nose, a little bit on my chin. In terms of concealing um, any little spots that I have, I really don't think I'm going to worry about it. I, you know, I'm usually pretty easygoing with pimples, the kind of thing that you're going to get them, they're going to fade away. So if you're feeling like you're going to a special event or you have something, you know, important to conceal for, then by all means do some spot concealing. But right now, I don't really have anything to worry about. So uh, I'm just going to use my beauty blender here. It's a little bit damp, kind of, you know, spongy, um, and it's going to help me blend out some of this concealer without taking away too much of the product. Yeah, I can't believe my birthday is tomorrow. It's a little bit crazy how fast this year has gone. One of the most exciting things that I bought for my birthday, and this is a real splurge because it's a little bit frivolous, because I already have some of the ambient lighting powders already. It comes in this beautiful gold box here. This is the ambient lighting edit. So it's got six really gorgeous lighting powders in here. Um, this will be one of the first times that I'm actually kind of digging into it. Just for a size comparison, this is the ambient lighting powder and this is the ambient lighting edit. And I'll open this one up here. This is in the shade dim light which is this bottom corner right here, which is kind of a peachy glow. Uh, you can really see in terms of the size of the pan that this is a lot smaller, but in terms of transportation, if you wanted to take all six of these powders with you, it'd be a little bit much, okay? So um, having, having this palette where they're all together, it's a really lovely thing. And I was thinking in terms of my wedding makeup that I was going to use some of these powders for my wedding so um, I just feel like they give a really gorgeous beautiful ethereal like lit with from within glow there is two new products in here 
to me. Um, the first one is this new strobe powder, which is actually a brand new release. It's called Iridescent Light. And then the other new product to me, which is not a brand new release, but it's new to me, is the Ambient Lighting Bronzer here in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. So I'm really excited to give those a try today. Right now, I'm going to set the under eye concealer that I just put down. So I'm going to use some of this lightest shade here, which is in the shade Diffused Light. A lot of the things that people have complained about this palette is just that the pan size is so small, which I can understand because it's a little bit frustrating when you're trying to fit a brush into this pan here. You really have to use a small brush. So um, currently this is the Real Technique setting brush. I'm just going to set my under eye area. I remember when the Hourglass powders first came out, how excited I was to go buy them. It was like all of a sudden overnight Hourglass had just exploded as a brand and everyone was using their ambient lighting powders. And I think the reason that people love them so much is because it's not like a super fake looking makeup. Like it's the type of makeup that when you put it on you literally just look like you're glowing because your skin is in such beautiful condition. I think that's kind of what the owner of the makeup brand was trying to do when she released these hourglass ambient lighting powders was just to make your skin look really really beautiful and who doesn't want gorgeous looking skin I mean that's like the basis of all the basis of all makeup you know to have this gorgeous base to work with and anything that I can do to create a beautiful looking base I'm gonna try. These powders look especially gorgeous in photos so in terms of my wedding day pretty sure that I'm gonna be wanting to wear these on my wedding day just because they give you such a beautiful natural looking glow. But you guys know me I'm not gonna stop here I'm probably gonna add some highlighter I'm actually gonna try this new strobe powder in the palette. It feels like no matter how much you actually put on of this, it could never look cakey. It could never look bad. It's just so pretty. If you have any darkness on your skin, just putting a little bit of this shade over it really changes everything. Nice. The next thing I'm going to do is just set the remaining area of my face with the tiny little sample of the Bare Skin Perfecting Veil Powder. I really, really, really like this. So I'm just going to take my um, regular powder brush and just kind of swirl it around in there. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face so that when I contour and do a little bit of um, bronzing, it doesn't come out looking kind of... Um, like uneven <laughs> I don't know. because sometimes bronzer can stick to your foundation and make it look kind of I don't know uneven in a way it can make it look um, patchy that's the word I'm looking for patchy I fluff the hair up a little bit this hair is heavy that's why I'm trying to wear it little by little just to get used to it so that when I wear it on my wedding day, I don't feel like I'm wearing a thousand pounds of hair in my head. Okay, so the next thing that I bought. Too Faced was having a sale on their website. I love Too Faced. You guys know that I love the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I actually just finished mine up, so it's sitting over there in my empties box. I can't wait to do my very first empties video for you, so stay tuned for that. So anyway, when I saw that Too Faced was having a sale on their website, I immediately went to go check it out. I got some really, really cute stuff. I actually only picked up uh, three things. Three things. So all of them are bronzers because I finished up my Chocolate Soleil bronzer. So the first thing that I got is the Soulmates bronzing palette. Um, this is Carrie and Big, which if you guys know me, you know that I love Sex in the City. There was also a Rachel and Ross one, and I like them as a couple, but Carrie and Big are bae. 
Like, they are amazing. I just love them. I've been watching Sex and the City since high school, and I own all of the seasons on DVD. So, um, when I saw that Carrie and Big were on a bronzing palette, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to get it. So, it comes in this adorable little heart shaped palette packaging and has a nice magnetic closure. I've actually been using this. Um, as you can tell, it's a really nice warm undertone bronzer. So it's really great for the summertime. I feel like it's a little bit dark. It's a little bit um, warm on my skin as opposed to the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. That one is more natural looking. This one actually looks a little bit more like bronzer when I put it on my skin, but I still really love it. And then it comes with this beautiful peach flush over here in the corner that I've really been enjoying too. So I'm really, really happy with this. I think it was only like $13, which is just awesome. The next thing that I got is another bronzer. It's the Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which I'm really excited to have. The Chocolate Soleil bronzer was always a little bit dark on my skin, and this one is made for the lighter skin tone, so it's just a little bit more of a neutral color. I have not used this at all yet, so as opposed to the Carry and Big bronzer, that one's really, really warm. This one is more of a, a brown rather than orange, so I'm really excited to give this a try. It's the brand new packaging, which I'm so excited to have. I love the gold, and it still smells as good as always. My lips are feeling super chapped right now, so I'm just going to add some of my Bite Beauty um, lip mask in the color Champagne. This is the one I always use. I really love it. I recently found out that they were selling it in maple. Mmm. That's so nice. Um, and I went to Sephora's website and I tried to find the maple one and I couldn't find it. So I don't know if it was just like at select Sephora stores or if it was online and I missed it. I don't know. But I have plenty of that one left so mm. it feels so good. Okay. So the last thing that I ordered from Too Faced Sale, I hardly needed, and um, I really debated. I took it out of my cart, I put it back in, I took it out of my cart, put it back in, because I had already kind of put the other two bronzers in my cart, and I was like, okay, I do not need this third thing, but I really, really wanted it, okay? It's my birthday, <laughs> so I got the little black book of bronzers, and I'm so excited for this book. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's... A little bit un impractical actually it's a lot impractical because um, it's huge I mean it's not that big it's like the size of a you know a normal book I guess but I guess maybe in terms of traveling it's not the greatest because it's a little bit of a bulky packaging but I just think that this is incredible I could not pass this up it comes with the entire collection of Too Faced bronzers. So I have the Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer here, which I just bought in full size. It has the Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which I just ran out of. It has the Dark Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which I think is gonna be too dark for my skin, but I'm still gonna try it. All of these smell like chocolate here. And then we have the Snow Bunny, which is the luminous bronzer. We have the Pink Leopard, which is a blushing illuminator. We have Beach Bunny, which is a custom blend bronzer. We have Endless Summer, which is a 16 hour long wear bronzer. And then we have Sun Bunny, which is a natural bronzer. So I'm just so happy to have this. I read so many reviews on this book before I bought it. And actually Too Faced came out with like a huge one where all of them are in the full size pan. Just for size reference, you can see that it is a lot smaller than the actual um, like single pan, but it's so cute and I, I couldn't say no to it, especially because it was on sale and I didn't really need it, but I'm not going to need bronzer for the next eternity. For contour today, I'm just going to take the Becca compact that I already have here in the shade low light and I've already hauled this for you before. You can see it has the highlight and then, or you can see it has the highlight here in shade opal and then the low light here in the contour shade. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and use some of that in my um, the hollows of my cheeks here. I'm just really lightly sculpting out the cheeks, you know. Sometimes I can go a little heavy handed, but um, 
just going for more of a natural look today but even on my natural days I never skip contouring because it really helps define my face in ways that I never knew I could. Do you have a favorite contour powder? I'm really interested to know because there are so many out there right now and although strobing is the new trend where you don't contour your face at all, um, I feel like contouring is going to remain kind of a constant thing in the beauty world because really it just changes your entire face shape. Um, so let me know what your favorite contour powders are or if you even use a contour powder or if you just use bronzer, I don't know, let me know what you do. So now you can see that I've contoured my cheeks and that I look a little bit thinner, which I really appreciate, especially in my face. It's one of my chubby areas, um, which I appreciate because I feel like the chubbiness in my cheeks makes me look young and hopefully it will keep me young for a long time. I feel nice and sculpted now. I totally forgot about this. I actually picked this up at Sephora yesterday while I was in the checkout line. Um, I just went over on my lunch break because I had already eaten my food and I didn't want to sit in the cafeteria because um, I'm on this special 21 day fix which I'm going to talk about more later which I'm excited to share with you. So I picked this up. It's the new, brand new oil infusion. So it's um, like an oil with a little bit of color. It reminds me a lot of the YSL oils for your, for your lips. Um, this is in the color Peach Tea number three and um i know i already put my bite lip mask on but mm, just to haul it for you it feels so good if you have been wanting to try the ysl lip stain lip tint in oil thing but it's too much money try the sephora lip oil tint mm, what do they call it oil infusion color and care it's really, really nice. Um, I really love the shade in peach tea. Mm. Feels really good on my lips. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to put that right at the top of my makeup bag. Okay, so I'm just going to take my normal bronzer brush. This is the Real Techniques blush brush. Um, I've just been feeling like the huge powder brush that I was using for bronzer, which you've seen in a couple videos. It covers too much square footage on the face, and I don't have... I have a lot of cheek going on, but I wanted to do a bronzer in a more precise area. So I started using a blush brush instead of my huge powder brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, oh, it's so pretty. Focus this on my areas that I want to bronze. Wow, that's a lot of pigment. I'm surprised as to how pigmented it is. It doesn't look that pigmented in the pan, but it's gorgeous. I wonder if it is the darker shade. I'm just going to uh, go back in with a brush, the powder brush I used, and just kind of re-blend everything. You guys know I'm like a blending fanatic. So now blush. I'm actually going to just go ahead and mix the two together in this ambient lighting palette and I didn't purchase any other blush um, I, I'm kind of like all set on blush for the next million years um, I have a ton of the Tarte 16 hour long wear Amazonian clay blushes so I really don't need to buy any more blush for the next forever so I'm just gonna mix these two together here in the pan um, pat it off on the back of my hand and just put that blush right on the apples of my cheeks and blend it back a little. The thing I love about these um, ambient lighting powders is even the blush and the bronzer and all of it still has like an, a nice little glow to it. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my eyes. Um, my complexion really benefits from like a, a rosiness around my eyes and 
on my forehead. So I really like the way that looks. The last thing that I'm going to use in this palette is the brand new powder that was just released with this palette. It's the strobing powder called Iridescent Light. I'm really excited to give this a try. It's actually the most glittery out of all of the products in the pan. And it gives a really nice, subtle almost with like a, a really cool undertone. I thought it was going to be more golden. It looks pretty golden in the pan. Oh, it's really pretty. I'll do a little bit on my eyes here. Go under my brow bone. Cupid's bow and the tip of my nose. And the same on the other side. Yeah, that that adds a lot of light to my face. I mean you can really tell on this side I have a really subtle, I hate to keep saying it, but glow from within. This side is just a little bit more dull. It's still pretty, but this side just has a really nice lightness to it. I'm surprised how much I like it. I imagine if you don't want to buy the whole pan, like this whole palette, um, that Hourglass will be releasing just this powder on its own. I haven't really... I don't know that for a fact. <laughs> I don't know, haven't read up on anything like that, but I assume that if the powder does well, and everyone keeps talking about the powder, they'll probably release it as its own product which it's really beautiful so I assume that they'll probably be doing that it's so subtle you can almost barely see it I usually like a little bit more of a highlight um, but the cool thing is it does not accentuate my pores at all It just looks really natural and really pretty. I'm not surprised. I knew I would love it. Do a little bit in the center here. So you already know how much I love my tinted brow gel in the shade Caramel from Anastasia. So um, I was noticing it's a little bit dark and I really love a dark thick brow but I decided to go with the shade Blonde and this is super light in comparison. It's almost like a golden color when you when I swatched it on my hand in the store it literally looked like gold so I thought mixing them together would be really beautiful and that's what I've been doing for the last couple weeks I just try to get as much product as I can off of the wand with the darker shade <clears throat> and I kind of comb it through it's kind of awesome because it kind of hides that pimple a little bit. And I think I'm going to go more outward that way. I'm going to leave the front a little bit more blank. Continue on this side. Straight. And out. Right, maybe I'll go just a little bit in the front. I really really love this as an addition. It just kind of adds a hint of a gold glimmer to it. So I usually start in the front because that's the point that I really want to be the lightest. And I bring it through to the end of my brow so that you can see the gold all the way through. Just kind of brushing them all upwards. So with the brows brushed upward like that. It looks a little bit full, a little bit crazy. So it's at this point that I take a spoolie and kind of brush it into position. And I usually just closer. Blending the two colors together. Oh god, I love that color so much. 
It looks a little bit, um, so it's dark still, you know, like the roots of my hair, but there's just a hint of gold into it, and I just love the way that looks. I really, really love it. The next thing that I got from Sephora is um, the birthday gift, actually. This is the NARS VIB Rouge birthday gift. It says, happy birthday, one year bolder, which I super love that. Um, the birthday gift this year is a little trio here. You can see there's a deep dark red, which would be great for the fall time. We have a neutral color, which is kind of like a mm, dusty, rosy mauve color. Maybe I'll put on a little bit of that now. Let's see. Let's see. I've never really tried much NARS, but I really appreciate the birthday gift. It's really nice. Um, and then the last thing that came with was um, a longwear eyeliner, which I'm really, really excited to try. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so I think what I'm going to do is um, just a very like thin line because I like the way that this is looking really nice and natural. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put that sun on my eye. This is the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in the shade White, and I just kind of warm it up on the back of my hand before I go right into my eye. I just love the way a bright under eye looks here in the waterline. Just makes things super bright. Okay, so um, I mentioned my order from Too Faced. One of the free samples that came along with that is the Too Faced Lash Injection, which this is my first time trying it. Um, since I already, I already showed you the one from Tarte, but I'm not going to open that up yet because it's, I'm going to wait until I'm at my last, last drop with the other one. So let's go ahead and give this one a try. 